Hello everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm here today to go over my budget for my first income for the month of February. If you're new here, I want to say hello. Welcome to my channel where we do all things budgeting. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, hey y'all, thank you so much for checking in on me today. Please, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down in the descriptions below. I am going to get right into my budget um, for the first income of February. We are already in February and it's going good so far. Uh, let's see. So you guys have seen this book. Um, so this is the monthly budget planner. What I do is I um, have a printout of a worksheet for my paycheck budget. So we're going to jump right into it. Let's go ahead on and figure out what we need to get done with this first income. There are a couple of things. I'm going to zoom in. There are a couple of things that you won't see, which is my tithe giving, my um, current household obligations, and my house down payment amount that I am saving towards a first, uh, the purchase of my first home. So. We're just going to see the things that we're going to be working with and what we're going to do for um, this first income. So our phone bill, my phone bill actually is going to be taken out on my second income. So I am going to write income number two. Basically, all of these bills here will be taken out on income number two. So as I am writing this in, I hope you guys are doing well. It is currently the weekend, the first weekend in February. Hoping that you guys will be able to see this video on Monday. And I think it will be the first Monday in February. It was nice today, just a little windy. I went out once, but other than that, I stayed home. Today is Saturday. So I will like to let you all know also that for this uh, my first income it's not normally a lot that I'm working with so um, my first income and my second income are about three to four days apart and so the, my first income amounts that you will see me list here may not be you know as large for basically a family of five but um, it's because my second income is a larger amount so I just needed that in between time if that makes sense so gas, I'm going to budget $30 out, um, and that's gas for my truck. We're good on gas right now. Um, it is just um, stretching it out, like I said, until just in case um, I need some before my second income. And I'm going to say $40 for groceries. We've got pretty much everything we need. I just may need to run to the grocery store um, for a little bit. So we're going to do $40 there. I'm not going to put anything for household right now because we're still good on that. Um, nothing. Caleb's haircut money will come out of my income too. I will give the kids their usual $5 in their daily envelopes that's in my wallet. And I'll give myself $5. Now, the three stock up um, category, that's for my pant my meat pantry and household stock up. And I think I'm going to probably shoot for $15. we will see how it goes. And money that I'm going to use for um, the kids' Valentine's gifts, that'll come out this year, I'm going to have to cash flow it. What I want to do, and I didn't get a chance to do that this year, but um, in January, I, what I should have done in January, um, taken out money, done some savings challenges for Valentine's Day, but I did not. But next year, hopefully, I'll be able to do that. What I am working on in February will be some of my sinking funds for March. So we'll get into that in the videos to come. But I just want to let you all know right now I'm going to have to cash flow or pull it out of my um, income for Valentine's Day. And we're not going to do that much. So that's fine. Am I going to take out anything for 
this month's um, youth outing for my kids. I'm not, so I'll say zero for here right now. Um, my buffer that's in the bank, I'm just going to take budget for $5. If I can put a little bit more in, I will. Most of the time, that's for any, um, if gas prices rise or if the food in the grocery store is a little bit much, I, I have a cushion in that account. So the kids get a total of $90, $30 a piece automatically from this income. I want to start, I, I think I've actually started my Christmas binder already, but for this income, we're just going to say not right now because I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll add up everything at the after I fill this out. Uh, let's say maybe $20 for mini savings challenges. I'm going to say nothing right now for my emergency fund cash envelope. Because in January, we were able to save $160, which was really great. Uh, my, my ongoing sinking fund go for my emergency fund um, cash envelope is $100 each month. So we went over that in January, rolling that $60 over in February. So we've only got to do $40. I may do more than $40, but right now I'm going to not budget for it right now since we're good. Um, for the house binder, and that is me prepping for things that we may need, um, when we move, I'm going to say, I'm going to say maybe $75. Let's do that. Lawrence binder. That's my oldest daughter's. Um, she's a senior in high school. We've got three envelopes in there. We've got a future envelope her prom envelope and um college essentials i'm gonna hold off on that for this income and then nothing right now for shout out your shop videos that i do at the end of the month i've got a few donation savings challenges i'm working on on that video but right now in this income because i'm not quite sure um what all is going to be needed when this income arrives as far as like how much i'll be able to get so we're just gonna leave it blank. If anything changes, I will do that. And I think that's it. So I've filled out the amounts that I think will work. And I'm shooting pretty low, but we will see. So let's go ahead on and just add up in the expense um, category. That's 30, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 15. That's 105. I'm just going to slide the paper up. We'll see what that what that brings us. $95 here in the savings category and another $95 in our sinking funds. So when we add that up, I'm going to scoot this over just a little. Let's bring in the 295s. So then we're looking at $295. We're going to minus the total expenses and then minus our savings challenge. I'm the savings challenge, our total savings, and then minus the sinking funds. Nothing right now in debt that we're budgeting for. So that does give us a zero based budget, you guys. Like I always say, this is just a budget of what I think everything, what we need to do. And if we are able to do a little bit more, we will. So we'll see what happens when um, the income hits the account and we'll see how things work. I forgot again, you guys, I want to go over the scripture that I'm going to be um, meditating on and using as an encouragement. And that is Proverbs 3 and 5. It is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Of course, verse six goes on to say, in all, um, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path is what verse six says. 
And so that's one of um, a very dear to my heart scripture. And that's what we're going to be using throughout the month of February. You guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day or wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>